Hey everyone, we're back at it again with uh, some more Nintendo rumors for you. In fact, it's kind of weird. We actually have two kind of sort of report slash rumor videos for you today. But the first one is going to be about Fire Emblem. Because after all, Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is previously released on Switch, is the best selling strategy RPG of all time. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that, like of any franchise on any platform. It is sold the best. It's crazy how popular Fire Emblem Three Houses is. So to get more Fire Emblem isn't really a shocker. But the kind of Fire Emblem we're talking about here might surprise some people. Might not. Depends on how much you've kept up on Fire Emblem um, kind of you know hopes and dreams. And Fire Emblem uh, heroes and all that over the last year might have gave you some hints. Uh, but this actually comes off Reddit. Now it comes from a Reddit user that actually leaked Fire Emblem Three Houses uh, information in the past before we knew about it. And it turned out all of that information was correct. So that user is named Fanny bomb. And in 2019, he revealed a large amount of inter information for fire emblem three houses before it was known, which all turned out all of it. 100% turned out to be true when we saw more of the game in the next trailer. So clearly he at least saw the trailer or it has some sort of connection somewhere. Now, before I get into the actual rumor, Hey, why don't you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you want all the latest rumors and reports around Nintendo, along with other gaming news, Nintendo news, uh, some opinions as well. Maybe you don't like my opinions, but that's all right. Uh, we're all free to think what we want to think. All right. So um, ever since the beginning of 2020, the Fire Emblem House's mobile game has been having an unusually high amount of of Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, and Radiant Dawn. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like I'm referencing it in the background. Who knew? Um, related content, such as seasonal variants and these characters appearing every month and in 2020 only. And the pattern of the game subscription service, Fire Emblem Heroes Pass, being broken recently by one of the protagonists from those games. A statue of the duology's main protagonist was also recently released. So a bunch of stuff around these two games for some reason in 2020 out of nowhere. Users on Reddit slash Fire Emblem Heroes discuss the pattern and speculate something minor. But then Fanny Bomb, the person who leaked all that Fire Emblem Three Houses info, replies saying that they think it's something much bigger in response another user then speculates that these characters might have been released throughout 2020 to coincide with these remakes but the remakes were delayed while the game content was not the leaker fanny bomb then replies to this comment specifically with emoji eyes possibly hinting that what this user speculated is true and that these supposed remakes of fire emblem path of radiance and radiant dawn and or both are planned to release in 2020, but were delayed due to the pandemic. So basically what the Bomb is doing, and he's doing it quite subtly, subtly this time instead of more directly, and maybe it's because he doesn't know exactly when the games are coming out, uh, that Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn are either going to be released as like another duality, which they've been doing a lot of duality kind of releases. When I say duality, we're talking about, you know, releasing two Fire Emblem games at once that are part of the whole. They're kind of, kind of pulling a Pokemon. Now, they didn't do that with Fire Emblem Three Houses, so potentially um, Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn aren't both going to be remaked and remastered here. That might not be what's happening, but one or the other might be, or both, and then have them release, you know, as separate releases that, that maybe combine for a combined ending or whatever they decide to do. Uh, I think that that's very, very interesting because one, Fire Emblem Three Houses is very, very, very popular. Uh, so having more Fire Emblem coming out makes sense. Having it be remakes of games that are really old that people haven't played in a long time. Uh, yeah, and hello... Um, these are like Path of Radiance is my jam, man. That's like my favorite Fire Emblem game of all time. So me imagining being able to replay that, uh, but not just replay, but replay in a remake fashion with better visuals, maybe updated combat, maybe new features, new content. Um, that really, really excites me. So having them work on these remakes after, after banging out Fire Emblem Three Houses wouldn't be shocking. They did this on 3DS, by the way. They remade old Fire Emblem games on 3DS after the success of Fire Emblem Awakening. So... Having Fire Emblem Three Houses blow up, it makes a lot of sense based on the pattern of Fire Emblem games that we're going to get some remakes. Now, where are we going to get them in 2020? Possibly. And if you look at Fire Emblem Heroes, the mobile game, they do like to coincide content with that game with releases. We saw them do it with Three Houses. So it could be that, hey, it was going to be a 2020 game, uh, but COVID 
delay all that jazz now it's going to come this year again we don't know but don't be shocked if we find out about these games at e3 coming up that we now know nintendo is fully participating in doug bowser putting out there to be hyped uh you know granted doug bowser is supposed to hype you for anything nintendo's involved in but yeah i i think this is just really really interesting i don't know what to expect i'm not sure where to go with this other than saying i really 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 want more fire emblem and i think all of you guys out there want more fire emblem too uh, now, I do want to address a, a, a few comments that kind of appear out there on some of these rumor videos I do where people are kind of looking at my channel as maybe bullshit because it's just a bunch of rumors. Well, for starters, I don't just post rumors, and anyone who is a true fan of my channel and watches knows I post a wide variety of content, which a little bit ironic considering our last video was a rumor video and then our next two videos, like this video and the next one, are also rumor videos because I do like talking about rumors. And back when I ran Zelda Informer, there was a running joke that it was called Rumor Informer, but I don't grab any old rumor off the street. I think people have it in their mind that when I bring up these reports that maybe other channels aren't covering... Uh, they think that, you know, I'm just trying to yank people's chains and I'm not, I bring up, uh, rumors and reports that I feel like have a reasonable chance of being true. Now, when I do talk about something that maybe I think is complete bullshit, I literally try to phrase it at the very beginning of the video that this is bullshit. I just think it's interesting to talk about. We did that with some, uh, was it Nintendo Direct or, or, or something rumors like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago where I kind of said, hey, look, this is all bullshit. We know it's all bullshit, but hey, man, there's some fun stuff in here, so let's talk about it. Uh, some stuff that HMK put up. So here's the thing. I'll still talk about some of the bullshit, but I'm very clear that I, I, I that it's bullshit. Um, I don't, I, hey, this guy leaked stuff in the past. He's kind of wink, wink, hinting at things quite literally with emojis. So, I, I don't know um, what else to think other than, hey, I'm just trying to get you guys the latest and greatest information and speculation and rumors and reports and actual news out there. Obviously, real news, real big news only really happens about a handful of times per year. Uh, now, you could talk about how there's a lot of gaming news out there, and there is. Um, there's some news out there that technically is also a rumor about PlayStation potentially countering Game Pass. And it's a rumor, but everyone's talking about it, and people are cool with people talking about that. But for some reason, they're not cool with people talking about this. I don't get it. Both of the rumors have the, about the same amount of validity to them, which means none of us can really verify anything. We just have to go based on a track record of the person saying it. So in this case, this person nailed three houses. So until they don't nail something, why would the hell wouldn't we talk about it? So that's what I'm just throwing out there. I'm going to continue to talk about this stuff and bring you the latest and greatest you know, that I can. I don't intentionally try to hype people up um, you know, to be disappointed. Uh, I think a lot of times we allow ourselves to get a little bit overhyped and over expectation. You know, do I expect big things from this E3? Yes, but not because of rumors. I expect big things from E3 because Nintendo doesn't factually have a lot of games announced right now. So they have to have something to talk about besides Splatoon 3 in 2022. Anyways, I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about this video and um, the rumor and all that jazz down in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.